hi guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning into this video it's good to be filming again so in today's video i want to talk about how to avoid sex in relationships so the physical boundaries that is important to put in place to avoid sex before marriage and the reason i want to talk about this topic is because you know as a christian most of us want to honor god we want to do what is right but you know we always get ourselves into situations like having sex but the reason i'm sharing this video is for us to you know put those physical boundaries in place because sex doesn't just happen things happen before sex so i'm going to be talking about how to avoid those things that happen before sex if that makes sense and the reason i'm sharing this video is because you know personally i'm dating currently and you know these are just some things that have been helpful for me that i've been practicing to prevent like getting into a sexual situation and i'm just sharing this because i want to help somebody you know this is not something that is being preached enough in churches so i'm sharing this so that you know i can help somebody to make better decisions or to avoid sex before marriage if you're new to this channel welcome thank you for joining the gang my name is any baby i film youtube videos about topics that i'm passionate about and with the hope that it would help people i also film youtube videos because i love to watch youtube videos i watch a lot of youtube videos and i learn a lot from them so i make youtube videos to also help people right so that's the reason i make youtube videos now so i just want to give a quick disclaimer the disclaimer that i want to give is that i am not perfect okay some of these things that i'm sharing is because you know i've made things i've done things that i'm not proud of in the past and i've you know developed ways to make better decisions and that's the reason i'm sharing it so i'm not perfect you know i'm a work in progress but i just try to you know learn things along the way and help people and in my videos i'm very transparent like i try to be as open and as honest as possible and the reason i'm very honest is because the people that, a lot of the people that i learn from personally are people that have been very honest with me because there is just something very comforting about knowing that you are not alone in a certain situation about knowing that you know other people have similar struggles as you it gives you the hope to know that you can also overcome it because if they're able to overcome it and they're able to share the ways that they were able to overcome their struggles it gives you assurance it gives you a faith that you can also overcome your struggle as well quickly i just want to talk about a miracle facial cleanser that i've been using this cleanser that i'm talking about it has done wonders on my skin my skin used to break out like months but ever since i started using this um facial cleanser i'm gonna show you my skin is very hydrated and so this is the product you probably can't see it properly it's called monuka i'm going to put the link in the description bar my uh, one of my friends from university of bradford she designed the product she's a pharmacist and it cons it contains monuka and moringa oil and it's just such a good product honestly ever since i started using it my skin is different even my mom can testify my mom was saying oh my gosh your skin is so much better and yeah if you would like to purchase it the link is in the description i highly recommend it and it's sold all over in pharmacies in manchester and things like that and you can order it online as well the first physical boundary that i think is really important is avoid spending a lot of time indoors together alone and a classic example something that i think is very very it's something that we should really avoid is spending time alone in the room on the bed with a guy this might seem very obvious but spending time alone with a guy in the like in an enclosed place like for example in your room 
is something that we should avoid as a christian in order to avoid sex before marriage and this might seem quite obvious but i need to emphasize it because it's something that we you know we might think is it's not a big deal we're just chilling on the bed watching a movie but things escalate very quickly from chilling on the bed you might start like snuggling before you know you start kissing <laughs> you get what i mean like things are just going to go going to go downhill from there so i think the first one is avoiding spending time indoors together and even it doesn't even have to be in the room it could even be in the living room i would suggest something that i do right now is when i have a guy over when i'm sp i don't i never bring any guys in my room we always spend time downstairs in the kitchen cooking together or something but then i make sure that it's the door is open my housemates can come in and out just so that we are not by ourselves because the fact is that we are human beings like we are physical beings like we like especially if you're attracted to the person it's really hard to be able to control yourself the bible says flee from temptation flee and something that i like is a fact is that you are not as strong as you think you are so spending a lot of time by yourself can lead to temptation and because we're supposed to flee from temptation it's something that we should avoid at all costs so to summarize i would say completely avoid don't ever spend time in the bedroom on the bed together when you are dating somebody like completely avoid that if possible just make sure that every time you meet up is outside and even if you have if you have to meet up inside make sure that it's in an environment where it look like you're not alone by yourself avoid spending too much time together by yourself indoors yeah that's the first point the second physical boundary i would say is avoid kissing this might sound crazy and you know a lot of christians can say oh it's okay to kiss and some people might say it's not okay but my stance is don't do it okay and this is hard even for me like i put my hands up and say like this is something that i am walking like i'm walking towards but i would say avoid it and the reason is what is the point of kissing like especially when tongues start getting involved you're getting really intimate with this person and it escalates easily from kissing it goes to touching from touching you know i don't want to get into the details but you know what i mean and one thing that i think is really really important is for us to be honest with ourselves you need to be honest with yourself and say like like what is the point of this kissing do you get what i mean kissing is is a foreplay it's in preparation for sex if you get what i mean you can only get so intimate with kissing like you like do you just kiss just for kissing sake like is that are you just kissing just for the point of kissing like once you start kissing things can just escalate very quickly so i hope that you really see where i'm coming from and you're honest with yourself about you know the motive and you know the things that comes after that because the end goal here is to live a life that is holy a life that is pleasing to god the third physical boundary i want to talk about is texting late at night so the, those conversation that goes on around 12 o'clock midnight 1 1 a.m in the morning 2 a.m 3 a.m again we need to be very honest with ourselves okay the more you talk to someone especially at those odd hours you are growing very intimate to with that person and i'm not saying you shouldn't communicate with someone that you're dating but anything that goes on after like midnight you know this but i know i'm aware that those conversations can go on during middays as well but there's something about you being on your bed and conversing with someone at 1 a.m in the morning let's be honest with each other please those conversations make you think about sex and that draws you even more closer to that person and if the goal is to avoid you know sexual sins we need to avoid those things that lead to sexual sins the bible says 
flee from all form of sexual immorality god does not like it it does not make god happy at all so i feel like we should avoid you know having late night conversations that goes on for a long time because it makes you think about sex and once you start thinking about it there is a chance that it will happen we need to be honest with each other with ourselves and you know put those measures in place to avoid sex before marriage so and lastly quickly i just want to address us single people right in genesis god created adam and before adam even knew what a woman was or the concept of a woman god said it is not good for a man to be alone and so he created eve what that tells me is that god knows what you want before you even know what it is do you get what i mean god created you he knows what you want and god created eve for adam even before he asked for it so and this is an encouragement to me as well god knows our needs and god loves us and he wants to he wants to give us those our heart desires the bible says that i know the plans i have for you to prosper you to give you a hope and a future god has plans for us that is even better than our plan the bible says that jesus is the good shepherd he knows his sheep by name so he knows us by our name he knows you by your name and he walks ahead of you so god is on the other side of this current situation that you're in and even though it might seem it is difficult especially because of the way the culture idolizes relationships it's really difficult but you have to continue to remind yourself of the word of god and continue to encourage yourself in the word and continue to focus on your relationship with god continue to reassure yourself with the word of god every single time you have negative thoughts you have control over your feelings and when you're sad think about positive things think about the word of god and i'm confident that god will give us even much more better than we could ever desire the book of proverbs says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight matthew is also say seek first the kingdom of god and all his righteousness and everything will be added unto you and i'm just using the scriptures to encourage us even in this single phase that if we trust god it will make everything work for our good and thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you have a blessed evening bye hi guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning into this video if you're new so this is just a tester testing 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 testing, testing.